Hi everyone, Greg Murphy here. It's great to see you looking after your team while they're on the road by installing Guardian by Seeing Machines into your vehicles. You've seen the video on how Guardian works. Now we'll take you through how the Guardian units are installed into your vehicles and are set up ready to monitor any event that may happen. I'll hand over to Raymond Ali, one of our Guardian tech experts, who will talk you through what is involved in the install and setup process. Hi, my name is Raymond Ali. I'm an auto electrician and I've been installing the Guardian system for AutoSense for over four years now. So today I'm going to take you through the installation process, the components and how the system works. So let's check out the components before they are installed into the vehicle. This is the control unit of the Guardian system. This is the brains of the system. This is your GPS sensor and this is for GPS coverage. This is your forward facing camera and this is mounted on the windscreen facing forward onto the road. This is the driver facing camera and this is mounted on the dash or pillar facing you. When this is mounted, we have two options. We can either go bracket mount, lower mount, soft mount or hard mount. This is your GPRS antenna and this is for your um, network connection. This is the vibrate motor. This is mounted under the seat and when there's an event, this shakes the seat. So I've just finished installing the Guardian system in the AutoSense van. Let's jump in and take a look. When we first enter the vehicle, we determine where to mount the camera. For instance, this is soft mounted on the dash. Depending on the vehicle type, we can either pillar mount or dash mount. Um, there are two different types of mounting. There are soft mount and hard mount. Hard mount is normally drilled into the dash and soft mounted is with a sticky pad on the dash. The forward facing camera is mounted on the windscreen facing forward. Next, we move on to installing the driver seat motor. This is normally mounted underneath the seat or at the back of the seat. Here we have mounted the network antenna. This is for your 3G and 4G network. This is your GPS antenna and it's normally mounted in view of the sky. The last piece installed, which is the control unit, and we normally mount this in a well-ventilated area. We now need to plug in our laptop to configure the unit. Here we are at the testing screen where we'll be testing for fatigue and distraction. Here I'm gonna close my eyes for 1.5 seconds where we should hear an alarm and the seat will vibrate. Now we're going to test for distraction where I'll be taking my eyes off the road for 4 seconds. Now that the installation is done and everything is working, we now take photos and send it back to AutoSense for quality assurance. The final thing we do is hang this card with some instructions to the driver of how the Guardian system works. So that's the process to install a Guardian system. It takes roughly three to four hours, but it needs to be done with time and care to ensure your driver is protected. That's it from me today. Any questions on the installation, we have an awesome Guardian support team here to help. Just get in touch. Hey, thanks for that, Raymond. I hope seeing how the Guardian installation and setup works will give you a better appreciation for the system and the time taken to get the install right and keep your drivers safe on the road.